Hi everybody, welcome to TFT, TFT Tarot for Today, Divine Dabblings with Oberon and Banshee. This is me, Oberon, and I'm happy to announce this is the first emotional exchanges of Super Tarot Love Month, our month-long celebration of Valentine's Day and, of course, all things romantic and emotional. So for today, I have decided to break out the Modern Love Tarot by Ethany, or by Lucy Morningstar, and it's very much celebrating the diversity of love, relationships, etc. And I have already done an unboxing flip through on our YouTube channel, so feel free to check that out. Would love it if you did that and gave it a like. But we're going to go ahead with our reading now, and of course, uh, I read for the astrological signs of the zodiac or the elemental associations of the zodiac so i read for the air signs fire water and earth it's a quick reading and what i do is i do two cards for each of those elemental signs the first card is the emotional happiness that is coming to you this week and the second card is the challenge that may relate to that all right <clears throat> I just love this deck. It's very pretty. First time use. And I saved it for today on my first Oberon's Outlook on the Emotional Exchanges. So wish us luck, everybody, as I shuffle. And I'll mention that in addition to some uh, love, romantic-themed segments of some of our shows, uh, we're also doing some other activities for Super Tarot Love Month. So check out the announcements in Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. We have special deals on our already low prices for the love type readings we offer in the shop section of our website, tfttarotfortoday.com. So why not consider a nice little Valentine's Day present to your loved one of a nice reading for your relationship. Hey, why not? And also we do the Super Bowl prediction as we have done for the last three years. Now last year we didn't get it right. It was kind of contentious, but uh, we're going to try it again this year. We're also going to have past life readings. I believe, I don't know when that's scheduled. You'll have to check. <laughs> Anyway, here we go with the reading. So as I mentioned, we do these for the elemental associations. All right, so. Okay, for the air signs, what is the emotional happiness that's coming to you this week? And it's the Knight of Wands. Uh, pleasant looking fellow there. And so the Knight of Wands suggests maybe um, a young person, a young man maybe, most likely a young man, will, uh, or somebody indicating those kind of characteristics of uh, charisma and magnetism and drive and energy, this person maybe is coming to you in your life uh, air signs. Uh, they may be somebody who is looking for a romantic partner, or they could also just be somebody who really would become a really good friend too, either way. So what is the challenge to that? And the challenge to that is death reversed. And that indicates some stagnation stuff going on. Um, death reverse sort of sounds like upheaval of various sorts. So I'm wondering really if uh, it just doesn't come at the right time that really there's too much going on in extricating yourself from other situations in order to take advantage of this. The Knight of Wands could just represent a really compelling opportunity, not so much a person coming towards you, but an opportunity of you moving towards 
a really good charismatic uh, encounter or friendly encounter with somebody may be the kind of thing that maybe does set up uh, a future strong relationship of some sort. All right, so then we are going to move on to the fire signs. And the good vibration for fire signs is the Queen of Pentacles. The good thing coming to you is an opportunity to put love and care on the front burner for whoever you feel needs it. And I'm emphasizing care a little bit because I think the Queen of Pentacles is a person who can bring numerous creative talents to life. And I think this represents the idea that you are going to be receiving um, some kind of gift. It, it sounds more metaphoric, like just sort of the gift of create creativity, like maybe something just kind of opens you up to a sense of uh, creativity that you haven't known before. And along with this is the idea that maybe what this does is it represents a chance to heal yourself or others who really need that. I mean, if you look, she's got all those herbs on a cabinet behind her. She is about taking care of things. So what is the challenge to this? <clears throat> and the challenge to this is the moon reversed. And so the moon reversed could be saying that it will be hard to seek um, this vibration exactly, that some of this may be uh, mysterious to you, but it looks like you can do that. You just have to really apply yourself towards understanding that. And you know, it you know it is in bulk for pagans and witches celebrating in bulk. Um, so it really has like a kind of in bulky feel to me between the Queen of Pentacles, you know, the life reemerging for the world, the Moon reverse may be saying it's just this great mystery that we need to plumb and figure out the mystery of life, the miracle of life. All right, so now we move on to the water signs. Water signs. <clears throat> Your good thing happening is the fool. And, you know, it's a person that sort of looks like they're in the middle of a ritual, you know, of some sort. Maybe they're aligning themselves with the powers of Aphrodite. So that's sort of cool little tie in there. But, of course, this is the modern love tarot. I think... Water signs are about to begin a challenge to themselves, maybe, to seek love where maybe they haven't found it before. Now, of course, if you're already in a nice relationship, it does mean maybe finding out something new about this relationship or how this relationship can even unfold to even, you know, greater, you know, emphasis here. So I think there's an opportunity coming to challenge yourself and to challenge your relationship or to challenge your sense of your relationship or the ones you want and really explore something very uh, dynamic and adventurous. <clears throat> I mean, maybe, you know, this is modern love. Maybe you might find out something about yourself that you never actually realized in terms of uh, yourself as an emotional person. So what is the challenge to that? Well, it's the lovers, but it's the lovers reversed. Pretty card, but it's reversed. And the lovers reversed maybe indicates that the challenge to this is perhaps that where you end up going with this is that it really fulfills you on some very physical level, you know, like it's really good uh, intimacy, however you want to take that. But it's not rewarding enough in some of the other areas unless you really you really make that difference there. So I think this is saying really the challenge to that is don't let it become too sexual, too sensuous. Keep in mind that it is really about challenging yourself romantically or emotionally more so than just the physical aspects. But of course, I notice that, you know, Scorpios like me are in the batch of water signs and sometimes it just doesn't try to keep you away from that stuff. Oh well, I'm being naughty. Now, on to the earth signs. And earth signs, the nice thing coming to you, it's the seven of wands. And I think earth signs, if in matters of love and romance, relationships, etc., you feel you've been challenged by others who 
seek to have their say on your relationship, you need to stand firm. Uh, this is the good thing coming to you is you are going to be standing firm that despite any challenges that are coming to you, whatever it is you represent to yourself, to your partner, to the world at large, your family, etc., is you will not be denied. You will be, you will stand forward for what you need to. So what is the challenge to that though? Mm -hmm. And it's a sad thing. It's the Five of Swords and it's reversed. I never like the Five of Swords reversed, but I really don't like it up way right. And this is could be saying that the challenge to that is that the rest of the world may not feel exactly the same about what you are trying to uphold. And you will be challenged for that. And so this is really kind of a feedback loop to me, too, that one engenders the others. And so you're going to kind of be in that holding pattern, at least for this immediate time, really uh, upstanding the challenges, but they're only making you stronger. And then, of course, the challenges come back stronger, but they're only making you stronger. You get the idea. I really think, in a way, it could be a, a positive thing to look at it that way. So let's try and do that. So now uh, for my special Invoke or Super Tarot Love Month Valentine's Day treat, I would like to do a little bit of a affirmation, maybe semi-spell for the Tarot Tribe. And I'm taking it from the Enchanted Tarot, which I've used before on the show, but I've also used it for Super Tarot Love Month. It's a lovely deck by our... Um, associates, <laughs> Amy Zerner and Monty Farber, we collect a lot of their materials, and this one is one of their oldest that we have. It's just a delightful uh, tarot. There's so many levels to it. So without any further ado, I'm going to shuffle this deck and give us our final um, good thoughts for this Friday, February 3rd, the day after Invoke. Let's see what we get here. They are that unwieldy, longish deck. I've had better luck with it before. Right, I think I've done it enough. Well, it's the lovers. The lovers. Your relationships reflect your own inner balance. Make sure that what is attracting you away from who, what, and where you are now is not a reflection of the dissatisfaction you feel with yourself. Though the card of the lovers usually means a love affair is in progress, the choice is not always romantic or sexual, but may be between any two allurements. And of course, that's kind of what I was saying in some of the readings earlier today, you know, especially for the water signs, you know, to not necessarily uh, mistake one for the other in this time. So here is an enchantment that I would like everyone to consider doing. For resolving choices in love, take the dust of a well-dried rose rose petals. So you got to go to your florist. Pour it into a bag of pink silk. Tie it up and hang it on a loose cord or a jewelry chain around your neck. Light two pink candles and chant. Vice or virtue I must choose. Guide my choice so I can't lose. Inhale the scent of the rose dust, and your choice will be clear. And like I said, we really love uh, Zerner and Farber, the Enchanted Tarot. 
So I will probably do one of these every week on this show during the emotional exchanges right at the end. Maybe I'll switch it up a little bit with some other thing. But thank you, everyone, for watching. Hope you got something out of this. Hope that if you have choices in love, you will find your way to the right ones. And, of course, in all other matters, emotional, we hope it's pleasant for you. So we'll see you next time. Don't forget to watch Happy Hour tomorrow at 10 a.m. And also Banshee's Material Matters, 10 a.m. Sundays. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.